Santa record. Okay. We are going to record. So let's get started over here. Okay. So last session it was Kwamba market in a pokuaiki move. In a kuwa natabia kumovu high highs and high lows, high highs and high low, high highs and high low. The same case to downside high highs and high low, high highs and high, I mean lower low and lower highs. Okay. Lakini sasa tukasema kwamba when we need to change a trend, tunasema we must get a break of stock. Na tukipata break of structure tulisema kwamba the area ambazo tunatumia ku take trading in this area, this area, and this one. Okay? Area number one, ambayo ni hii hapa, tunatumia supply and demand to take trade. Tuna wait for the price to return, either to give us a engulfing, na vitu kama hivyo then we take a trade. Key area sio maarumu kwa kuchukua sniper trades kwa maana ya trade ambazo zinakuwa sniper kwa sababu pale pale ambapo naingilia ndo soko linapogeukia sio maarumu kwa sniper trade hii hapa ni kwa ni maarumu kwa kwa supply and the demand peke yake kwa mfano i don't think it. I don't think it will be this one over here. Confirm. I, I think it will be USD now. Keep calm, I will. Not USD. I, I mean this one over here. Euro USD and GBP USD last year. I mean last, year, last week. The market was the trending down like this way. Down, up. Then we have this last low over here. Then we got a break over here. As we said that, baada ya kufanya break, this area ambazo tunatarajia sisi kuja kuchukulia trade. Baada ya kufanya break, remember that the time tumefanya break ni hapa. Okay? Baada ya kufanya break, the next, ni, ni, sisi tunatarajia kuja kuteki trade at that point, or this point, below over here. Tunasubiri market, ilipo vunja, then he return it to this point over here. Or this one here to go to the top. Lakini, wakati mwingine market inakuwa haifiki. So some people, I mean someone can, can benefit kwa, ku, kwa ku take trade from this point over here. Na hii point hapa tunasema kwamba we only take this trade kwa kutumia supply and demand. And most of the time, inakuwa ni risky trade. Kwa mfano, on this trade, kwa mtu ambaye alitakiwa ku trade supply demand, tunasema kwamba this was the big move na hapa ndo kulikuwa na demand zone yet. I mean demand broken support ambayo may become uh, I mean resistance ambayo may become support. Kwa hiyo mtu alitakiwa take trade over kwenye hii area baada ya kupata kendo confirmation. Na stop loss ni huku chini. Kiasi kwamba ukija kupima stop loss ni almost pipsi 80, I mean 70 a risk of almost $7 kwa 0 0.01. Tafasili yake ni kwamba kama mtu atachukulia hapa trade ili kupata reward nzuri at least one less or two, itabidi, sorry, itabidi a hold trade kutoka hapa to this top side here at least ndo atakuwa amepata return nzuri. So what I need to say ni kwamba we are going to ignore this. Na sisi tutangaria only two point to take trade. Ambazo ni variable na ni za msingi sana. Okay? Ambazo ni very valuable na ni za msingi sana. These two points. These two points. This will be our point number one over here. I need to, to draw an illustration. This one here and this point over here. 
hizi ndo area ambazo sisi tutazitumia kuteki trade only kwa maana hiyo sasa this point over here ndo hii point hapa and this point over here ni hii point hapa kwa hiyo haya ndo maeneo ambayo tutatumia sisi ku kuna nini remember that hatuchori this easy line kwenye week hatuzi press this line kwenye week na zipress kwenye body do you understand so from there we are going to wait for the price to return all the way to this side before we went up na hapo ndo to take trade okay i'm going to show you how we take the trade na 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 na, na sababu gani tunatumia ku trade unachotakiwa kufanya unatakiwa kuiruhusu market ama kuisubiri market irudi mpaka kwenye area usiku and the candle number 1 candle number 1 itakapokuja kugusa hapa make sure that ina close above this line ninapomaanisha ku close maana yake ni kwamba this body kwa mfano this body do you see this body over here ije iguse this area na isifunge below this line kwa maana ya kwamba body isifunge below this line ila wiki inaweza ikazidi to this line na ikishafanya hivyo hii ni confirmation ya kwamba we are going to get a change of the trend from that area kwa mfano kwa mfano okay kwa mfano This one here was uh, uh, was an area as I said before. Okay? Kulikuwa na break this one break below above then to make it break the single break. Ukiona break ya uielewi. Ukiona this one ya uielewi kwamba hapa kuna low low au kuna low high. Au kuna high high au kuna high low. Kuna switch to line chart. Utakuja kugundua kwamba this was the high high this was the high low na hii high ilikuwa zaidi ya hii that's why this is a high high and this is a high low then we have this last high kwa hiyo tumefanya break of structure you understand me then after that break of structure tume 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 price imekuja ime break ilipofanya break tunasema kwamba tunazi ignore this area ku take trade tunasema tunatumia this area au this one over here how this one over here kwa hiyo price ikifika kwenye hii area ika close below as we see that the candle ime touch kwenye area lakini body ime close below hii ni confirmation ya kwamba the market inaenda ku reverse from this area na kushuka chini then ikishafunga sasa ndo tuna set our sell limit over here na kuweka stop loss pips 20 na tano. 15 mpaka 25 usizidishe ukiona imezidi pips 25 maana yake haimbadili mwelekeo you hear me kwa hiyo hii ndio sababu ambayo tunaitumia ku take trade kwa hiyo market kirudi ika close below as it closed below Tunasema kwamba we are going to take a sell. Kwa hiyo this was the confirmation as you see the market returned for the second time take our trade then boom to the bottom side. Na ku exit the trade as we discussed on the first session tulisema kwamba the reason we used to take the trade ndio you ndio reason ambayo tunatumia ku exit the trade. Kwa hiyo kama tuliingia pale maana yake kuja ku take ku, ku I mean ku exit trade lazima tuje tupate break of structure like what happens over here. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukapima mwenyewe na kujua kwamba how many pips was collected over here. A lot of pips was collected over here. Or almost 400 pips was collected over there. So I need to share with you the trade ambayo nimeichukua leo kwenye 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 part of the uptrend I need to show you Okay. So this is an example of the trend ambayo ambayo nime nimechukua leo. This was the on downtrend. Okay? So 
is down one, up one, down one, up, up, then break. So, then it break. That break of structure indicates that our area of taking a trade will be here or here. So, area ambayo itawai ku close. You understand me? Area ambayo itawai ku close below. The area ambayo unaenda ku take trade. Yesterday, I mean, past week, Euro CHF, as we see on daily, it close above. As we see, Leo Doni Meamua could take a trade around this area. Okay? And the same case applied to my target in Lazima Nipate Bridge and Nipate Break of Structure. Ambayo itakuwa me break, na inaweraka. Then it confirm who said it, then I will exit. Where your candle number one closed above gives me an opportunity to take a what? A trade. Lakini, Sometimes, when you set stop loss, when you set stop loss, jita idi sana u set stop loss below the the last low, au the last high. Wakati mungine price in a in a in a in a close above over here, arafu ina force to the to kujia kuni kuni structure, blue test, okay? Ina kujia kutesti this low. Kwa hiyo ikija kutesti slow, sometimes ina kutoa. Kwa hiyo, unakuwa kwenye nafasi nzuri ya weo kuteka sniper trade na kuingia kwenye trade kwa uzuri. Okay? Mfano mwingine, mfano mwingine, it was NZD, USD, NZD card. I think it's NZD. Audi card, NZD card. Euro card. NZD. And D card, D card. Apart uh, from this, apart from this, I think it was our D card. D card, as well say. Yeah, it was our D card for how? If I read the mistake, okay. Our D card. For the break of structure over here, come at Naviona, we put that break. Na, 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 triple put a break. Then here was our what? Our, our area of entry. Okay? This was our area of entry. Always a bio, not to me. Kama tunavyoona ni kwamba ime touch only 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 once bado haija touch kwa mara ya pili. Sidhani kama mstari wa kwanza ulifika. Ila mimi niliingia kwa sababu niliweka tu umaji ni kwa sababu this trade haikuwa na risk kubwa. Kwa hiyo mimi niliweka entry kabla ya yeah, ya yeah, price kufika. Ilikuwa na 15.15 to the top. That's why ni risk direct ni risk dola 15 na nilifunga na nilifunga na profit ya dola mia just a hundred pips kwa mbazo nilikuwa na zitaka. Ndo nilifuzo funga nazo. So, liski na kuja almost 107 kwenye, 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 kwenye that trend. So, currently, I'm waiting for the price to reach at this invalidation point because we had this break of structure over here. Kama itafika hapa, then itanipa kind of closure above. I'm going to take a trade for the bullish side from from this area over here. We only candle closure above. Then the next candle, Nateki, Nateki what? Nateki buy. You understand me, my friends? So I'm needed to allow you ask some question. You will unmute if you have a question. Then in the end of session, I learned that can you the way of of taking a trade and stuff like that. In the end of the session, I learned. Hari, hari, hari. Any mute? Oh, what is the swari? Come on, swari. Come on, swari. Unga mkono. The comment section, I only allow me to go there.
Hello. 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 Guys, I'm Sky Kimia. Msipo nipa cooperation mtashindwa kuna nini? Okay, I'm not, I'm not sorry. I'm going to continue with what I, I started. So let me find a pair which have no analysis with. In it, it was a, 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 was Point number two, tunasema kwamba, for example, when you E area, to require this price over here, mba it break. So, iki ndo kitu ambacho ni kwa kimaanisha kwamba, sometimes the price is close below. Manake sipo close below that this area is not, I mean, this area, haita kuwa respected. Kwa hiyo, kama hii area haita kuwa respected, the respected area haita kuwa ni top one. Na yenyewe sipo close below, manake ni kwamba the, the, the setup will be invalid. Okay. Will be invalid. As you see, the top one candle closed below, the next candle placed be. So kwenye, op, kwenye, kwenye this top one, uwa tunaweka tu pipsi kuminatano. Kuminatano it's enough. Ki hapa tunaweka 25 kwa sababu sometimes waga ina forsi kuja ku take some liquidity around the area so that's how we used to take a watch a trade on, on on that situation another situation in i think was euro card euro card yeah was euro card which i'm still holding up to there was having an invalidation point Kama nilivyo sema mwanzoni, this area over here. Lakini, ika force it to close it below. Then the next one, ikawa respected. And why I take the here? Kwa sababu nilimisi to the bottom side. Lakini bado niliamini kwamba itaenda nyu kwa sababu haijanipa break of structure ya kuchange trend kwenda chini. Okay? So, nika take at the reason of demand and supply that this one over here, it's my demand. That's why I take that trade. And I shared on my VIP, okay? I'm giving you this for free. It's your time to take, uh, I mean, it's to take your time to learn, then we benefit kutoka kwenye here, okay? So, so anataka, I mean, you know, see, Jeff, you know, onyesha, trading nyingine ambayo, I'm waiting for the for for it. This one over here. This is uh Audi, Audi CHF for our time frame. Price managed to break. As you see that price managed to break this one over here. Then this one becomes an inflation point. And as we see the candle closed above. So I'm waiting for the price to return to go to the top side. If you are a trader. You can copy this at uh, the signal. Now, Kaitumia could take what? Could take it, could take it, trade. So, thanks, guys. I've given you Maliza when you these two points. Now, end up when you, when you, when you, when you, when you next session. I think I will use just 20, 20 minutes. Benny and Tamariza. Okay, actually, to, to we discussed it for the first time, Gwamba. The market in Apple change. Lazima, Lazima, Lazima Irudi Haba, Aukwenye area. Lakini Sasa, Siom Daote in Arudi Kwenya Mayaneo. Isipo Rudi Tunafanye. Make sure that the price it break cha kwanza. Kama it break, ikatengeneza another low. 
ikalitesti sio lazima ile testi kwenye exactly this place ila ikalitesti ikashindwa kuyafikia haya maeneo mawili ikashindwa kuyafikia alafu ikatengeneza another law tafasiri yake ni kwamba haitorudi tena kwenye hizi pointi mbili did you get me Did you get me guys? Ikaferi kurudi kwenye hili area alafu ikatengeneza another law. Eh? Yeah, tunakupata. Then ikija kurudi. Haitorudi kwenye these two tops. Area ambayo itarudi Ikija kurudi area ambayo itarudi sio kwenye hizo top tena itarudi kwenye hii area hapa kwa hiyo tutakuja kuwa na kitu kama hiki price ta retest over here na itafanya nini na itaendelea chini kwa hiyo tunaenda kuchukua trade kutoka kwenye kwenye hii area to the bottom side Hope you got me. So let me try to show you, especially when you when you current market strike. I was on NZD JP my night. So sir, ni me onyesha kwenye 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 up trend side. Lakini kwenye down trend side the same case applied. Lakini tu na badili kama one kam. Inakuwa this way. So market ina break ina fair kwenye ku test. Then ina tengeneza another high. Ikisha tengeneza tu another high manake una expect for the price to return over here. Then it tutaendelea up. Lazima iwe me break this twice. Okay? Kwa hiyo tuta, tuta, tuta expect the price to return over here. Then it tutaenda kwenye nini? Tutaenda to the top side. So the matter of entry ni ile ile lazima uangalie kendo closure above. Kwa hiyo hatu analyze market kwa kuchora trend line and stuff like that. We are just using this this simple tools. Just a single tool this line over here. Then is ingine ni ku count pips na nini. Almost most of this nazitumia tu kwenye kwenye kufundisha. Okay? So this is how we take a trade kwenye point ambayo imefail kulitani kwenye hii point au kwenye hii point kwa hiyo tunajifunza hivi ili kukabiliana na market situation za aina yoyote ile itakayotokea na ili tu benefit i hope umenielewa kwenye hii hello hello hiyo ya hap, ya uptrend atukuelewa kwenye hii ya uptrend the same case applied kama nilivyosema kwenye downtrend i mean kwenye kwenye uptrend hapa sawa tunafanya break of structure yeah. over here manake tulitarajia price irudi kwenye hii area kwenye hii area hapa hapa yeah ngoja ni annotate ile kama tulitarajia irudi hapa sawa au hapa lakini price imeferi kurudi baada ya ku break hapa ilipo feri kurudi ikaenda ikatengeneza another high sasa sasa tengeneza tu another high manake this all this point ambazo ziko chini ni invalid then this one inakuwa valid ila kwa mfano price imetengeneza hilo hapa Alafu bado haija break iko hapa. Inawezekana wakufanya hivi karudi hapa alafu ndo tukaondoka kwa sababu haija break high. Kwa hiyo lazima i break high. Kama haija break manake ni kwamba this still valid. Ila ikishafanya tu break over here manake hizi huko chini zinakuwa invalid. The same case of Friday over here. Price inaweza ikawa imeshuka mpaka hapa. Ila bado haija break kama haija break ina possibility ya kurudi to this point then ndio drop 
Sui kama menyelea. Aho pun menyelea. Okay. So let me go to the chat. Ni waonyeshe. Sorry, I'm saving this. Let me go to the chat. Ni waonyeshe. Um, Mfano. We are in GBP, GBP is still right now. Sir, GBP is still right now. Sir, and here is an invalidation point, right? But I price, I don't think our price up may break. I think it may break around this area. Sir, it may break, but it may break, it may break, it may break, kwenye hii area hapa tafasiri yake ni kwamba hii hapa ni hii hapa ni point ambayo mtu anaweza kazania kwamba aha hiyo current i'm going to wait it over here lakini trust me sawa trust me ni kwamba gbp usd bado haja break this point here kwa hiyo ili hii point to account we must get a break over here then it to test over here ndo tutaendelea juu. Ila tukifeli ku break maana ni kwamba lazima tutarudi kwenye hii point ndo tunaendelea na nani. Nafikiri hapo meanza kupata ka concept. Hello. Hello. Ya hapo na. Kijangu ni. Eh. Mfano mwingine ni hii ni hii pair hapa euro usd invalidation point Ma, price ime break lakini imeshindwa kurudi imetengeneza this one over here okay so this is in, this is the point ambayo tuna tuna tunaitarajia kwa hiyo market imeenda imeenda just 10 minutes let me complete it first imeenda kutengeneza this one over here so ime break manake tunatarajia irudi iguse this point alafu ndo tutaondoka completely kwenda juu na lazima tu get candle closure above up to now bado hatujagusa kwa hiyo we can't plan anything from it okay alafu leo video ndio upload mapema tu kwa hiyo kama kuna mtu amechelewa ataipitia mapema kama pia kuna sehemu auto kwa umeelewa mtaishare tu mapema alafu mtashare mta mtaangalia make sure that ni kwamba tunaangalia sisi ambao ambao tumefanya nini tume 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 tume, tume nani tupo kwenye session msishare link na watu wengine tutakosana kwa sababu nimeamua kufanya this free for you that's why na share na nyingi and the video nimeweka listed inaonekana na watu ambao wako kwenye darasa tu okay I charge you $1000 to train this that's why nafanya vitu vyangu kuwa kuwa private na staki mimi na yetu kwa sana tukakombea darasa njiani kwa hiyo make sure that uki, ukipata video iwe ya kwako na nilichagua kabisa nisemwe watu 50 tu ndo nataka ni kufundisha okay So let me look another uh, some 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 new some few examples ambazo tunaweza to take okay kwa mfano haba who was having this one ambayo kwa ni invalidation point as we discussed before bad air price could break it is test it is test over here na ika close above na ika take trade ikaenda Uh, on the coming session tutakuja tujifunze kwa nini kwa nini kuna uwezekano wa wa, wa NZD USD kurudi to this point au this point tutajifunza kwenye next session but leo tunataka tutujifunze this point ambao nimesema kwamba wakati ambao the time ambapo inafanya nini inaferi kurudi afu inaenda kutengeneza haya maana yake tunakuja hapa ndio tunaendelea na trade you this is the point ambao nitaka kujifunza leo bado tuna 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 vitu kama vi tatu ambavyo tutajifunza nafikiri 
tutakuwa tumemaliza session na watu mtaanza kufanya mazoezi na kuona wapi una kwama wapi unaelewa na mtu kama hiyo sawa mkubwa yeah if you have a question please ask before the end of the meeting if you have question please ask before the end of the meeting nadaka 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 sita za maswali hivi hello Hello. I'm not sure. Once you have one, pack up a trip of here. Yeah, come on, miss. Uta uta catch record. They share soon after ending the meeting. Learn to share my payment, sir. So don't know. Okay. So maswali kutoka tulikoanzia mpaka tulipo hakuna ndarudia downtrend ah uh, yani kama hamna swali allow me to end the meeting then I see you tomorrow for the next session please if you have a question i hope usiendi haraka sana <laughs> Na eleweka. Yeah. So allow me to 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 send the video now kama 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 kuna sehemu ukusikia vizuri naomba ufanye revision upitie lakini niwaombe ni kitu kimoja mwanze kufanya mifano alafu mwe mnanitumia Telegram I prefer Telegram kwa sababu haifuti vitu hata kama ikitokea nimepoteza simu nikirudi nitavikuta. So send me on Telegram. Make sure that you save my number. The same number I'm using on Telegram. Save my number. Then niambie na mimi nitumie jina lako inbox ni save number yako then unanitumia mifano Telegram ya ya, ya jinsi ya kuidentify those na na ku take some trades. Nimesema kwa ambao wana trade tayari you can use this trade as a signal to take it day okay so thanks much for your time i appreciate for your support until kesho mapema kama leo tunaanza darasa dakika 40 zingine tunamaliza kesho kutwa tunaendelea mpaka tutakapomaliza so thanks guys for your time santé Yes, I think.